Let's learn how to make a cinematic text effect in Kittle right now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over here into the text panel on the left. I'm gonna hit add text. You can do that with the T button as well, by the way. Let's go ahead and make this white. I've gone ahead and picked a image in the background of a lake because we're gonna go with the lake as our text. Over here, I'm gonna click North Road because I want a nice kind of flat font here that is going to be easy to replicate the reflection that is below. So if you have a really weird wonky font, it, it might kind of destroy the whole scene. So this one is flatter, but it still kind of has this nice roundness to it. And that'll make more sense in just a second. So I'm gonna use the lake here as our text. And the only thing we're gonna reflect is the word lake. So what I'm gonna do is hold Alt or Option key and drag, okay? So I'm making a duplicate of the word lake. You can also hit command or control C and V if you wish. You can right click here and what I'm going to do is hit flip vertical. Okay, so when I hit flip vertical, look at that. It completely flips it the opposite direction, giving us our reflection effect. Now, what we need to do is work on our color and make one part of the design basically disappear. So we're going to hit gradient here and where we have the black we are going to take off the color. So you see there, I've taken off that color and now the text is fading to nothing, which gives us the illusion of this reflection effect, this cinematic title. Now what I'm gonna also do is give it an effect of shading or drop shadow here. And what I'm gonna do is give it the same white to make it kind of look like it's blurred or it's in the water. And we don't need a ton of offset. So I'm gonna take that basically all the way down. And then what I'm gonna do is increase the blur ever so slightly to look kind of, you know, mystical, kind of like it's fading away into the lake. Now you could do this with more or less depending on what you wanna do. Uh, and what I'm gonna do as well is take this color and move it towards the text. So I've opened up the gradient color panel over here and I'm moving basically the fake color down towards the text because I want it to kind of disappear. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more aesthetic, a little bit more spookiness to this by adding an image over here in the image panel. I just wanted smoke or fog or something like that. I went with this one I had already put in as smoke. And now what we're gonna do with this is go over into our saturation and turn it down because I just need it to be black and white. After we have that done, what I can do is come up here to the blending mode and I can go to soft light. And what that is gonna do is blend in with the background and the text. Then I can mess with the opacity to get it exactly how I want. And so you can see this kind of fog here as I move it. It's kind of coming over the lake as well as over the text. So here is our completed cinematic title text effect or reflection text effect done in Kittle. Mm -hmm.